Luke chapter 7, something wonderful happened in that chapter of the Bible. The disciples of Jesus and Christ himself had seated in someone's house and they were having a nice meal together. All of a sudden, this, this prostitute, this known prostitute, came out of nowhere. When she came, Bible says she bowed before Jesus and poured an expensive perfume on the feet of Jesus. And she started wiping the perfume with the hair. This was a strange act. An act that everybody around was confused. For two reasons. One, why would Jesus allow a prostitute to come close to him? It was forbidden. Number two, why would she waste such an expensive perfume on Jesus' feet when he was alive? You see, the, 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 the custom then was that when someone dies, they, they actually anoint the body with such, you know, oil, uh, perfumes and other stuff. And he was alive. And so when this woman started doing that, Judah said, I mean, you could have sold this perfume and we could have used the money to feed a lot of poor people. But nobody understood what this woman was doing. What she was doing was a powerful move of faith. This woman, in that single act, sacrificed what was valuable in response to what Christ had done for her earlier. Remember there was a time Christ was somewhere, you know, outdoor, writing on the ground. All of a sudden, the, the Pharisees brought a woman who was caught in the act of adultery, right? They were about to stone this woman. Jesus said, anyone who has not seen before should cast the first stone. The Bible says they all disappeared. That woman, that prostitute, when Christ saved her by grace, she responded with faith and gave the most expensive gift as a sign of gratitude. What are you ready to sacrifice for your faith in God? This woman sold everything, put it together and bought an expensive perfume. What are you ready to let go because of Jesus? You see, if you are not ready to let anything go, then you don't have faith in him because it's like you are clinging on to these worldly things. You have faith in those things more than faith in God. It is time for you to develop this kind of faith. I call it the prostitute faith. She let everything go. She let everything go. You see, in the Bible, there is also another prostitute who helped the people of Israel when they needed a place to hide. That prostitute was known as Rahab. Rahab's fate saved herself and her family. In Luke chapter 7, this prostitute's fate saved her and her name would always be mentioned whenever the gospel is preached. What are you ready today to sacrifice for Jesus? That is a faith that each and every one of us needs to develop. It's only about money. But you need to sacrifice the joys of this world for Christ's cross. You need to sacrifice certain jobs because they have they, they become a hindrance in you serving the Lord. You need to let them go so that you can serve Him faithfully. It is my prayer today that as you sacrifice those things that are valuable to you because of Christ, God himself will shine his face on you and he will bless you. May the Lord bless you indeed today and shine his face on you and grant you success in everything you do, even as you sacrifice the world for him. Shalom.